Do you need a cover that snaps in place and firmly holds your screen in the housing? Do you want to eliminate screws that take time to install, need additional space, and don't always look that great? If yes, then you're in the right place because in this video we will go over the four simple steps to design a snap and cover that will hold a screen in place. Step number one, decide if the snap will be in the housing or the cover. There are several reasons for why you might want the snap to be in the cover. 1. The cover can be easily 3D printed on its side to maximize the strength of the snaps because of the orientation of the layers. 2. A cover will need less support material than a housing. The housing will need to be 3D printed on its side. To maximize the strength of the snaps, printing the housing on the side will require significant support material. Step number 2. Select whether the snaps will be on the inside or the outside of the housing. Putting the snaps on the outside will work better because the cover will be easy to remove. As you can see in the simplified section model, you can use your fingers to bend the snap out of the lock position. However, when the snaps are on the inside, you won't be able to reach them. Instead, you will need to add access holes to reach the snaps with a tool such as a screwdriver. Step number three, measure the screen to get all of the critical dimensions to make sure that the screen fits perfectly in the housing without any interferences. Dimensions such as the size of the board, the size and location of the screen on the board, the height of the components on the board, the distances of the components to the edge of the board, the size and location of the SD card, the size and location of the flex cable, and anything else that might be critical for your design. Now here are some quick tips. 1. Remember, mechanical design is a game of part tolerances. So if your cover doesn't properly fit into the housing, just adjust clearances between the cover and the housing until you get the fit just right. 2. Don't forget to use the cross-section view to catch interferences between parts. I made some last-minute changes and I forgot to take a quick look at the cross-section view. As a result, I didn't catch this interference until after I printed the cover and it didn't fit. Step number 4. Now is finally the time to go into CAD and design the cover and the housing. Let's begin with the cover. The cover will be made from ABS and is 120mm long, 84.5mm wide and 24.5mm deep. The cover will have a 99mm by 56.5mm opening for the screen to fit inside of. The snap hook is 16mm long and 2mm thick. The undercut which determines how much the snap bends during installation is 1.75 millimeters. Also, I added a cutout to make it easier to grab and pull the snaps on the cover. The radius is about 28 millimeters. Now moving on to the housing. The housing is also made from ABS and is 127 millimeters long, 84.5 millimeters wide and 25.75 millimeters deep. The opening for the board is 121mm long, 74.5mm wide, and 1.75mm deep. The distance to the cutouts for the snaps is 11.25mm, and the cutout is 4.5mm wide. Usually I like to leave a small clearance between the cover and the housing, however this time I made the walls coincident to each other, so that it's not loose and it will hold the screen in place. Also, all of the walls are 3mm thick. And one other thing to keep in mind is that for the snap and cover to properly work, the housing needs to be stiff relative to the cover. If the housing wall is not stiff enough, then the wall will cave in and the snap force will be significantly less. So to make the housing wall stiffer, I added a 3 by 3.5mm beam along the walls. The stiffener beam went along the entire back wall. But unfortunately, on the front wall, the stiffener beam is only on one side of the SD card. The other side had components along the board edge, so there was no room for a stiffener beam. So this is not perfect, but it is what we have to work with. And here we go! Now it's time to 3D print the parts, insert the screen into the housing, snap in the cover, and take some time to enjoy your design. Is your cover not snapping in just right, or maybe even breaking? Then watch this video to learn about the four things you can adjust in your snap so that the cover snaps in perfectly.